They just and hey, we'll be school do you attend? Go to Cleveland High School. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and how do you feel you're being affected by this turnover? Uh, how do you think this will affect you in the long run? And your school system and your students to come. I think if they fire half the have the staff, they won't have the chance or privilege to like privilege to uh, have the experience that I had in in the in high school. Because most of the most of the teachers are uh, great. They, they can be they can have like they can um they can um they can uh, go talk to them about anything like we made that that bond we break we broke that wall between student and teacher so I think it will affect us a lot and the next few years like as a kid like I was not motivated. At first, but when I met my teacher, the teacher and my mentor, oh, okay. he, he motivated me. He saw something that I didn't see in myself. So yeah, it's gonna affect us a lot. Okay. Carlos, everybody. Thank Carlos. you, Carlos. Woo! High school. High school. Woo! Woo! Our next guest speaker will be Michaela. Hey, fun school. Yeah. Hey, Michaela. 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 What are your thoughts today, or for these proposals? Really, the turnaround is not going to help the schools. It's only going to hurt them. The te these teachers are people that help us. These teachers are the reason that we succeed. What happens if you fire them? It's going to get only worse. It's not going to help us at all. It's a stupid plan. Mayor Bloomberg's being stupid, and he needs to stop. All right. So do you think this is more, more he, he's trying to economize than help us as students? He's really just trying to economize. He just want, He's only doing it for the money. Power has obviously corrupted him. What he's doing really isn't right for the schools at all. Do you so think how do you, he... So how do you feel about Sheets Bay High School? I love Sheets Bay High School. What do you love about it? I love the honors program. I love my mock trial team, my move court team, my social science research team, my mentoring program. I love everything that my teachers put me in. I love my teachers that are so enthusiastic and willing to help me. I love my friends that are so supportive and so diverse. I love everything about my school. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Commercial, Commercial break. break, everyone. All right. Wake up. Wake up, Bloomberg! 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 Okay. So at this time, I would just like to stress. Okay, so Sebastian, what do you think of our um, our guest speakers? Well, I feel our guest speakers, you know, they're very, they're very in love with their schools, and I feel that they are very going to be affected by the turnaround plans of Bloomberg, and that's why they all got here today. And what do you think about this? All right, my opinion is actually yes. One of my my actual high school from where I graduated from, Brooklyn High School, you know, when I was young, so, um, is actually on his list, his hit list, I would say. Mm -hmm. And I am 100 percent against turnaround. Plans. Because, okay, so let, let's, for our viewers, let's get this straight. Um, the turnaround plan is this proposal, the model that everyone works for many different schools across New York City. It consists of getting rid of 50% of the staff and all as well as changing the name of the high school itself. So my opinion would be that Bloomberg needs to realize that, as Michaela said, the guest speaker said, that it's corrupt, like power has completely corrupted him. How is 50% of getting rid of the staff going to uh, help and benefit the students and changing the name. How is that even relevant? You know? Also, I would assume that there are teachers that have been working there 20, 30, some even 40 years that already have a built a foundation to build upon. So what, where does Bloomberg get his idea to get rid of 50% of that and destroy their whole, their whole structure? Right. And this turnaround plan has never been approved before and it's, it's a new plan. We're used as his lab rats. We feel we're being used as his lab rats and we're we're not very sure that this will be an effective plan to help our schools in any type of way. And that's why we gather here today to save our school. Exactly. Save our schools! 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 Save our schools